7.55 nearly. We're going to be talking about swearing now. So I should say, before we get going, that if anybody slips up, this will happen. <laughs> We're doing this because an employment judge has, uh, has only just said this week that the F word is used so much now in the workplace in 2023 that it just doesn't have any shock value. And he says it's lost all its significance. Does that mean we should all be allowed to use the swear words freely? Or should they remain banned at work, even here on our programme? Guests, and sometimes, fair to say, presenters, yep. are not immune to a slip of the tongue. Let's have a look at Good Morning Britain's Hall of Swearing Shame. What you say about minimum standards is <gasps> Because the cult... Sorry, that's what I'm I was quoting. It's quite early. Early. Hang on that's a moment. Well, that is Labour. <laughs> it's <laughs> Labour propaganda. Where did that come from? Yeah. He said... Well, I'm going to apologise on your behalf. A bit, of, a bit of foul language we heard there. I know. Oh it's yeah, uh, you... pure, purely accidental. I am alive. Okay. So, oh, hang on. So I think slightly you... more frank language at this time of the morning than we're normally um, used to on Good Morning Britain. So apologies for that. Resting thought. I was two. What um, did you just say? Oh, flipping heck! I was two. Apologies. My apologies. <laughs> Do you know what? You are a real. <laughs> Sorry, my <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you're I'm, also I'm in trouble, trouble now. Good morning, Prime Minister. Everybody come on. Uh, good morning, Britain, Prime Minister. <laughs> oh! I've just, I've, just had, I've just had a reaction here from one of the minders. Uh, wow. Okay. Be honest, you enjoyed that, didn't you? Uh, so, is swearing not a big deal in the workplace if it still is on the telly or radio? Or is it actually still pretty offensive to colleagues, particularly the F word we're talking about here? Well, joining us now is the journalist uh, Flora Gill, who says there's nothing wrong with, uh, with turning the air blue. Uh, we all do it, so please mind your language. And employment legal expert Paul Britton. He thinks that swearing is unprofessional and can create a hostile environment. Mm. We'll, we'll come, to, come to you first. That's an interesting point, but we'll come to you first. Why do you think it's cool uh, to have the F word banded around <laughs> any office environment. I'm not trying to say it's cool, but I think it does add a certain amount of colour, and I do think it's more relaxed nowadays to be able to say swear words. I think it can have a sense of camaraderie. I mean, who at the end of a really long day hasn't wanted to say, oh, that was effing exhausting, I really need an effing drink. Mm. I realise the irony of not being able to say it now. Yeah. But I don't think there's anything particularly wrong. But that's interesting, because there's a distinction between using it in that context as a kind of a commentary and using it as an offensive attack on somebody, like saying, you blank, or yeah. why don't you blank off? Yeah. There's a huge difference in context, isn't there? 100%. Context matters a lot in these kind of scenarios. There's mm. 100 words that I would use to describe something. It would still be rude to say to my boss or say to you or say to a colleague, F mm. you, you effing whatever. I have to tell you, we're just being told, apparently, you can't actually say... Uh, so just, okay. So, okay. Apologies. That's all right. No, it's okay. But just, just to clear that up. No. To be fair, we did ask you on the program yeah, to talk well, about all right, of this yeah. language. It's quite difficult. <laughs> I've got a manoeuvre. I'm just passing it on from people upstairs. I think. <laughs> Understood. Yeah, just from Ofcom. <laughs> uh, so, and especially as, ironically, of course, there will be many more children watching this morning because teachers are on strike, and so we've got more children in the audience. <laughs> so okay. uh, let's turn to Paul Britton, who is uh, the legal expert on this. Do you agree with uh, Flora that it's actually pretty common, not that offensive? <clears throat> um, and the uh, employment tribunal judge who says, perfectly normal. Well, I'll start with that, Suzanne. It's, it's, the employment judge hasn't said it's OK to swear in the workplace. What the it says it's lost its shock value. It's lost its shock value. That's very different. Um, there is protection. <laughs> Flora gave a very good example of when you get home from work and you say, today has been a mm -hmm. particularly bad day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think working from home has made people relax somewhat. That's a good point. When no-one's around and listening. But in the workplace, using that sort of foul language can create a hostile an intimidating place to work. And if you link those swear words to protective characteristics under the law, age, sex, race, then y there is protection in the Equalities Act, uh, Section 26, that will say that it is illegal um, and employers will be pulled over the hot coals um, if they fall foul of that. So if, if my employer, employer swore at me, mm. would I have a claim in an employment tribunal? It will depend on the context and what it leads to. You might say that if they've sworn at you and it's been particularly hostile and aggressive and you have felt demeaned, put down, mm. bullied or harassed, 
then you may have a claim for unfair dismissal. I think, I think what we're all saying here and agreeing with is that it's about context, isn't it? It is. Um, and about motivation. And I was telling a, a very funny story earlier on about the, uh, the actress Anna Chancellor who played Duckface in Four Weddings and a Funeral. Um, and I asked her in a live interview on this morning why her character was known as Duckface and she told me why. Uh, because she said that's what she was called but with a different <laughs> the different <laughs> syllable at the front of the, at the, front of the word word when she was at university. We didn't get one complaint. Mm. She, 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 she burst into tears when she realised what she'd said. She fell into my wife's arms and I'll never work again. Um, and all we had were calls from people saying they thought it was very funny and, t and telling her not to worry. So context is crucial, isn't it? Yeah, just in general in the workplace, you want to have respect. Like, as you said, I, I don't think... I'm not arguing, I don't think anyone is arguing that you should be able to use slurs in a workplace or be disrespectful to people. But that's very different to talking with colleagues and using an F word. I mean, I think it can be bonding people. They, uh, studies have shown that it makes pe people look more honest when they use the word. Mm -hmm. it, it can give you a sense of camaraderie. Also, it's one of the only, like the Brits, we don't, we aren't the best at a lot of things, but I think we might be the best at swearing, like... Well, Shakespeare would agree, <laughs> yeah. Shakespeare would agree with and that. Yeah, Scott um, swearing, it's poetry. You must... Have you ever sworn in, in, in the office when you shouldn't? In the office, I have to admit, I have sworn yeah. on occasion. At somebody? It? No, but... Because I'm, it's it... the difference, isn't it, in general mm. conversation... Yeah. Um, ..where nobody feels like you're attacking them... That's right. It, it makes a massive difference if you're being sworn in front of or being sworn at. And, and the case that we're talking about that's just been in Reading Tribunal um, is, is, is a perfect example of no one was sworn at. No. A word was used. In well, context. how did you use it? What was the context that you used? In, in a similar sort of thing, frustration. Frustration. You know, like when you hurt yourself. And did anyone complain or say, oh, don't say that or hush No, it up? no one complained. Lawyers no. are quite um, <laughs> hardy people, <laughs> so. As <laughs> are journalists. Susanna, I don't know if they're in I your outline, but yeah. the, um, the editors just appeared on the floor. So I think we may have problems. <laughs> OK. Uh, yeah, I haven't said anything. <laughs> Uh, the halo should appear above my yeah. head as Ching. I defend us <laughs> against any Ofcom investigation. We asked you on Twitter, should the F word be banned at work? Mm. And four out of ten of you said yes. And 60% of the majority said no. That's interesting. And we mm. almost got through that unscathed. Thank you both very much Thank indeed. You both very Good much to see you. Thank you for your time.